I'm in here. I've got the pleasure of being with my oldest son in here today, my very first son. <laughs> and we're doing a show with berries in every recipe that we're cooking. First, it's my son Jamie's filet mignon with a delicious blackberry sauce. Next, it'll be a twist on dessert with lime, blueberry tiramisu. And how about a refreshing raspberry sorbet? And last, it's cream cheese and pecan stuffed strawberries. So grab yourself your favorite bunch because today, everything is very, very good. Now, the first recipe that we're gonna do is filet mignon with blackberries. Does that not sound wonderful? We've got a sauce that we're gonna reduce with some wine and some berries, and it's perfect on top of the steak, so mm. let's get started. The first thing we need is a hot pot. We need a couple mm -hmm. of tablespoons of olive oil. And we want this pan hot enough to where it's kind of smoking a little bit. Mm -hmm. What we got here today are four filet mignons. They're about mm -hmm. six ounces a piece. Now help me salt and pepper the steaks. Okay. I just love salt and pepper on my steaks too, you know? Not a bunch of other stuff. Okay, we'll, you know. so we'll put them in the pan. Okay. And we're gonna cook these about three minutes there on each go. side. Yeah, you don't wanna overcook those. All right, now you want to season the other side real quick, like. Yes, Okie doke. There we go. So we're going to do these mm. about three minutes on each side because we want them a nice medium. We want this pan really Very hot good. when you get started because we're going to seal in all the juices. You don't yeah. want it to cook real slow, you know. We're going to get the ends yeah. done. While you're I doing that, Mom, great. Yeah. I'm going to cut about a quarter of a cup of chow. I love shallots. They're very close to like an onion, y'all. If you've never used them, they, they give you that onion flavor, but it's a very mild, it's much milder mm -hmm. than like a regular onion. And how's my little Jack? Jack's great. He's Almost getting a it year, I can't believe it. Such a cute age, y'all. He's sticking out his tongue now. I'll say, stick your tongue out at Granny and he'll go, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip these, son. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah. Yum. Oh, they look so good, James. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to cut these with our fork. I remember when we used to go to, to Granny Paul's house uh -huh. and pick blackberries and, uh -huh. in buckets, and Bobby and I would walk a sure enough country mile picking blackberries, and mm -hmm. by the time we get back, There'd be four or five little blackberries rattling around in the bottom of the bucket. <laughs> I was always so afraid that y'all were gonna be bitten by a snake. Picking those blackberries used to just scare me so bad. You were scared of everything. I know, I was. I was scared of everything. And I, I just watched y'all like hawks. It's a it's a miracle that today you even wanna leave my side. I can't be so <laughs> So close to me. Well, these look great, son. I think. Let's do it. I think they're they're ready. There's nothing worse than having a beautiful steak and cooking it to death. Those look great. Oh yeah, you got some good little crummies. Now to that, right, I'm just so gonna add your these. Shallots. Yep, about a quarter of a cup. Okay. Yeah, mama, All I'm right, doing so this. while you're doing that. I'll just make a little tent to go on top of our steak to kind of keep the heat in. I'm just gonna run these through real quick. Uh -huh. I'm gonna put about a half a cup uh -huh. of red wine. Ooh. Pretty. So oh, that looks and smells delicious. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Now to this, Mom, what I'm, we're gonna do is we're gonna mm -hmm. add one cup of beef broth. Okay. And uh, that's just a jarred beef broth. Yes, ma'am. And then I've got I got some preserves out of your pantry, some delicious oh, homemade put up blackberry preserves. We're right. going to put three tablespoons. And now we got to wait a little bit longer. We're going to reduce this by about a half. But while this is doing, let's do a compound butter to put on the steak. Okay. Butter on okay. steaks. 
Mm. And plus with fresh berries infused, come on. Okay, dunk. So as many times as we've done this, you know mm -hmm. what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. It's a room temperature butter. This is uh -huh. just a stick of butter. Uh -huh. It's yeah. nice and soft. Mm -hmm. We probably got a fourth of a cup of blackberries here, and I'm kind of just mushing those up, getting those ready for your butter. And you can finish kind of mashing them up now that they're in there. It's yeah. nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you've got your butter at room temperature, so it's going to be very, very soft. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to need to use some plastic wrap to mold our butter back into shape. We're gonna roll it in a log, and then you can either put this in the refrigerator for it to firm back up, or you can store it in the freezer. And it can probably last up to a few months in the freezer. So you can pull it out and you can use it on biscuits, or waffles, or It don't last that long in our house. <laughs> but even better than that, it's gonna be fabulous on our filet mignon. Up next, lime blueberry tiramisu. And later, a refreshing raspberry sorbet and delicious cream cheese and pecan stuffed strawberries. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. If you've just joined us, we're fixing a plate up of filet mignon with a blackberry sauce and a blackberry butter. Mm -hmm. All right. So you've reduced your Two. red wine, beef broth, your shallots, yep. and three tablespoons oh, of blackberry preserves, fresh preserves. right? And now that we've reduced that down by half, I'm gonna uh -huh. whisk in some two tablespoons of butter. Okay. Now I'm gonna put just a little mashed potatoes on our plate to kind of... Keep the steak company? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need a pillow for my steak. That looks like a pretty good pillow, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, so put you some sauce. Mm -hmm. but there's a lot of flavor in here, so I'm not going to cover uh -huh. it. No, that's enough. We have to leave room for our butter, too. Mm. Yeah, give me some butter, son. Mm. And mm. I think I'm just going to garnish the plate with maybe a few blackberries. Maybe right over there. The one for you. One for me. Oh, this looks delicious. Mmm. Mmm. What do you say? I love the flavors going on in here. Mm-hmm. The little sweet and the savory and mmm. Well, listen, I've got a real treat for us. Down at the other end of the counter. Uh-huh. I love your dish, son. I love your dish. But come on down here and let me share with you this wonderful lime and blueberry tiramisu. Well, I love tiramisu. You know what the word tiramisu means when it's translated into English? Fattening cake. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> but no, that word transfers into pick me up. But ours may just be a fattening cake. <laughs> Well, this is so easy to make. We don't have to turn on not the first eye on the stove. So this is a great recipe for a hot summer day. I'm gonna take one pint of heavy cream. I'm not gonna make it like a whipped cream that we'd serve on top of our desserts. I'm gonna beat it just until it's kinda like thick. Mm -hmm. So you need a quarter cup uh -huh. of powder I need sugar. a quarter of a cup. And you can add it kind of slowly. Just enough to sweeten our whipped cream. There we go. It's on the way. Okay, son, so you start layering the lady fingers for me, please. We're using a 
a 13. A 13 by 9 by 2 dish. And you can buy Lady Fingers two different ways, filled and unfilled. So for this particular dessert, I want mine unfilled. Now I've got one pound of mascarpone cheese right here that we're gonna add to our heavy cream. Just gonna stir that together and you can see that our whipping cream is not totally whipped because we want this to kind of run over into our lady fingers and get them a little moist. All right, so Jamie, you are brushing our lady fingers with limeade concentrate just from a can, you buy it in the frozen food section of the grocery store. So all we're gonna do is pour about half of that on top of these lady fingers that Jamie has brushed with the limeade concentrate. Mm-mm. I know it. I love you, mama. I love you too, son. Very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> all right, half of this. We have just an ordinary blueberry pie filling that you pick up in the baking section at your grocery store. All right, now another layer of lady fingers and do them the same way, son. Oops. <laughs> spoon fall in your mouth? Mm-hmm, the spoon fell in my mouth. <laughs> Sometimes that just happens. All right, and you'll wanna brush those with some more limeade and then we're gonna Put the rest of our uh, cream mixture on top of that. And then the last thing we're gonna put is the rest of our blueberry pie filling. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm -hmm. Yum. Yum. You can see the beautiful colors that we've got going on mm -hmm. in this dish, the white and the purple. All right, so all we have to do now, y'all, is wrap it, put it in the fridge, and let it um, soak for just eight hours. That's going to be the trick. <laughs> <laughs> you may wait eight hours. <laughs> Listen, we're going to be right back. we got something else really, really good coming up. How does a raspberry sorbet sound? And later, it's cream cheese and pecan stuffed strawberries. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Y'all, I tricked Jamie. He really thought he was gonna have to wait eight hours for his tiramisu. Now, he ought to know, look at here comes Cody. Get in line, Cody. Uh-huh. Line up, buddy. Jamie should have known that Mama had another one in the fridge. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, how pretty is that, Jamie? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like I said, you take the bigger <laughs> one, son, and I'll take the smaller one. Wow. Gosh, looks like the lightest cake ever, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa. Mm. Gosh, I could stand up there and eat that all day, son. But I gotta get down That's here great. because I hear a water boiling. Mm -hmm. And I told y'all we were gonna be making a raspberry sorbet. Now I've got two cups of water here boiling. I'm gonna add two cups of sugar to our two cups of water. And I'm just gonna be making us like a simple syrup. Mm -hmm. So you come on over here and you take our raspberries now, we're using two quarts of fresh raspberries, y'all, and we're going to add a fourth of a cup of fresh lime juice. 
So it's gonna give our raspberries just a little bite of tart. And we're gonna let this syrup cook until everything has melted real nicely in it. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna let this cool. So I have one that's already dissolved very, very nicely and cooled over here for our sorbet because it would be really, really tough to start out making a sorbet with a boiling hot liquid. Those look beautiful. So the fourth of a cup of lime juice. Isn't that a pretty color? Beautiful. Hi. Do you remember when we first opened our restaurant we made ice cream, we made it batches this size? You know, it's hard to believe, Jamie, but we sure did. Yeah. We made a homemade ice cream every day at the restaurant, and they were so delicious. Now, if you would just take that and pour it through the strainer, because raspberries is full of seeds, mm -hmm. and you want your sorbet smooth. All right, son, so while you're working on that, I'm gonna go ahead and measure up our white syrup, and I'm gonna give a little spray to my cup, because you know how syrup is very, very sticky. Well, if you spray your measuring cups, It'll just pour right out. Now, I'm going to measure up half a cup of white corn syrup. Finally got through. Oh, good. Perfect timing. All right, now we're going to add our syrup. See how that just slips right out of that measuring cup? Mm-hmm. All right, and now our simple syrup. Mm -hmm. I have taken my barrel to my ice cream maker and I've stored it in the freezer for like 24 hours to get it nice and frozen. And that's very important when you're using home ice cream makers. And so if you'll just pour that in there, then we'll turn on our machine. And we're gonna have a beautiful tart raspberry sorbet. There you go. Mm. Ooh, that's so good. Is that good? We're gonna store it in the freezer overnight, and let it continue to get hard all the way through. So you got something you're cooking next? It's so sweet and so simple. It's a stuffed strawberry. It's a perfect hors d'oeuvre, something to have mm. when guests are coming over. Y'all stick around, we'll show you when we come back. Stuffed strawberry? Yeah. Yum. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back, y'all. We're <laughs> having our very special show today, and the last thing that I'm going to show you, Mom, is so sweet and so simple, it's a stuffed strawberry. Take eight ounces of cream cheese, a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar, mm -hmm. and a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract okay. and blend it together. Okay. And the first thing you want to do is take the bottom off your berries so they stand mm -hmm. up straight. Mm-hmm. And we're going to take this Fourth knife. of a teaspoon. Yes, ma'am. Now I'm going to take these strawberries and from the top, I'm going to make a crisscross cut, not going all the way mm -hmm. through the berry. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I've got your cream cheese. That cream cheese was real nice and soft. So I've got that soft. Okay. Just and get I it in your piping some... bag. This is a store-bought piping bag, but you can make your own by cutting a tiny hole in the corner of just a plastic storage bag. And you see, we'll just be okay. able to lay these open, and we're just going to pipe mm -hmm. right into the center of the berry. Yeah. This is something if you want to do ahead of time and put it in the fridge. Oh, gosh, yes. Okay, so in there. And see, once you get them started, it'll kind of push the berry up there. Mm hmm. I love doing things like this, son. Mm hmm. Oh, that look good. All right. Now we're going to top it with pecans. Mm hmm. 
Oh, those look nice. delish. Well, you want to taste okay. one? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, they look yummy. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this is a nice change from just an ordinary fruit tray. Yeah. These are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 It tastes kind of like strawberry cheesecake, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Mm. Who's going down this way with me, son? I couldn't make you wait until tomorrow on that sorbet. I knew you would. I've got you some ready. Let me help you out. Got some fresh raspberries and nice fresh limes and some fresh mint. How refreshing is that? I think we could just put some chocolate on it. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> I don't think we need chocolate on this. Maybe the strawberries, but. Mm. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm -hmm. A little mint. All right, a couple of raspberries. Yeah, who cares about all that dress up stuff? <laughs> Let's just dig in. Mm hmm. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>